In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a new file and enter settings for preparing this trip plan. Once you create a new file and open the home sheet and enter settings as described in the previous section, you are ready to enter road inventory details. To enter road width details, open the road underscore width sheet and enter chainages. Enter distances in chainage underscore from, chainage underscore to, and the corresponding width in the respective columns. If you have selected line option in road definition setting, select the road underscore line sheet and enter the chainages. Enter the chainage distance, the respective side and offset in the respective columns. To enter shoulder width details, open the shoulder underscore width sheet and enter the chainages. Enter the layer number, the chainage from, chainage to, and width in the respective columns. Next, to enter shoulder line details, open the shoulder underscore line sheet and enter the chainages. Enter the layer number, enter the chainage distance, the respective side and offset in respective columns. Next, you can enter the point features. These are the points or blocks that will be placed at a particular point like bore wells, electric poles, etc. Open the point underscore feature sheet and enter the chainage details. Enter the chainage distance, the respective block name, side and offset in the respective columns. To enter cut fill details, open the cut underscore fill sheet and enter the chainages having cutting or fitting. Enter the chainages in, from chainage, to chainage, the respective side and offset, block name and relative height of cut or fill in the respective columns. Open the lane underscore configuration sheet and enter the details of the lane configuration. Enter the chainages in from and to. Enter the details about road in remarks and the condition of pavement, good, better or best in the respective columns. Enter settings for hatches in the CAD drawing. In the next set of columns, enter the condition name, good, better or best and the respective hatch name that you want to create and the scale and the angle of the hatch. Linear features are those which run for certain lengths such as roads, drains, etc. Open the linear feature sheet and enter the details about linear features such as roads, bridges, village limits, drains, etc. Enter the chainages in from and to the respective side and offset and remarks about the feature in the respective columns. Open the junction underscore places intersections sheet and enter the information about the junctions. Enter the chainage distance, the respective block name, side and offset in the respective columns and name of the junction in text. Open the band sheet and enter the band details. First, enter the band settings, enter the band number and for the respective band, enter the band captions and band height in the respective columns. Next, enter the band details. Enter the band detail, the chainage from, chainage to and the text that you want to add. Enter the chainage distance, the respective side and offset in the respective columns. After entering all these details in Excel, you can prepare the drawing file. In this video, you learned how to create a new file and enter settings for preparing this trip plan. In the next video, you will learn how to export strip plan data from Excel and create CAD drawing of a strip plan. Thank you for watching this video.